so we are in day six now. Um, well, starting a gas station, um, giving some tracks, but that was in my city. Now I'm going to the city I'm going today. This is uh, day six. I'm going to be today in Imokali. It's a city, mostly it's in Spanish uh, people over there. So probably I'll be preaching probably in Spanish. And let's see what's going on. But I will start in the city hall and the city hall. Uh, probably I will read the Bible in English over there. Let, let's see what's going on. Uh, the the need of God is everywhere. I, I went to a gas station, uh, give like ten tracks, and then I come back to buy something else. So there were another peoples, and I go back and and give like another six seven tracks. So everywhere you go, there is a need of God, uh, and we have the calling. Because Jesus says so, go and preach to every creature. In any way you want, you have a big sign, did you have tracks, did you have a microphone to talk, or talking without microphone. Anything you can do, if you're a Christian, do it. Because we have the call to do it. And Jesus is coming soon very very soon god bless and god bless you and let's see let's uh we're going to the to the, to the place day six today so i'm sending this corner here uh i'm in this small town probably i, I don't stay here too much but at least to pray you know for government places and to and then we'll move on I was there in a place like in a medical appointment or something so the people in the desk they received the tracks like three ladies all of them receive it they were okay with that and then i give track to the patients that were on the line there were like like 12 15 people and all of them get the track oh one lady told me no wow that that that's good uh, uh that's a blessing and open that open door that god is doing Okay, let's keep going to another amazing place. Uh, I mean, I like the places when I when the people inside the employees they receive the tracks, and then also there are customers over there, and I give them the tracks. That that's what I like a lot. Okay, uh, it's a, it's in a small town. There are not too many cars on the lights, but at least people get the tracks. People receive it. I brought that one today that you can see from far away. Um, that's Spanish. You have English on your side. We did that one in church for the resurrection week, so we can be standing in the corner. So we're here. Not too many people here, but this is like very close to the other street, and I can cross and give some tracks. I mean, every city is different, has their own challenges and, and everything. I've been an amazing experience. So we're still here in day six. Set up a little bit more.
Yeah, there was a car with two ladies in the front and like three or four kids in the back. And I gave one to the lady in the front and then the kids put down the window and asked me that they want more. And I give them both. I don't know, the, the two tracks I have, I'm sharing is, uh, this one is talk about the born of Jesus Christ. And I have another one about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is this one. I have those two in English and Spanish. So basically, I feel very happy when the kids want the tracks because they read it, they can share it with kids at school. And you know, the kids are very special for Jesus. So I feel very happy when the kids, or, or when the parents take the tracks and, and give it to the kids. Some, some parents do that. They say, oh, that's for, for kids, not, not for me. They have like that attitude, but, but I don't care. They take it and give it to the kids. That, that makes me even happier, you know? So keep doing the work, please uh, pray for me. I need more people. I have a lot of signs, a lot of stuff, the camera, the Bibles, everything. And, but God give me the strength to do it. I'm gonna keep this place a little bit more time. See what's going on after. So I like this corner here. Uh, people are receiving the tracks. Uh, the, the street is very near to the sidewalk. A lady come very thankfully, and she gave me like she gave me five dollars. Uh, I mean, in the beginning of the ministry, when I started preaching, I didn't receive any money from people. People wanted to give me money. I said, no, thank you. I'm not doing it for money. But then a pastor who do that told me, hey, you have to receive it because you don't know if God wants to bless that people and you're stopping it. And that's true because evangelism is one of the, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's like a good land to invest. Hey, you want some verse of the Bible? Uh, yeah, he didn't want it. Things happen. So, uh, that's why now I take the money. I mean, I don't do it for money, but if people give me money, I'll take it. Okay, let's see what's going on. This is like the second time I go to the car and I already share something like this. So this play has been amazing. Nice shadow, which is amazing. Uh, I have this one here. Why are you seeking the living one among the dead? He's not here. He had raised I have the tripod for a camera over there. And then in the other corner, I have a few signs. Jesus love you. So an amazing place. People are, are, are taking the track. And so let's see what's going on. I think after here, probably I'm going to read a Bible or maybe move on to another place. Let's see. A uh, guy made me very happy. I give him a try. He said, you want some to buy? I said, yes, I do. And then I tell him, do you have kids? He told me, yes, I do. Okay, let me give you another one for your kids. Read it to them. He said, yeah, we're going we're gonna to read that tonight. Do you have an amazing reading tonight. You know, that's the kind of people sharing the gospel with the kids. God loved that. When, when parents, father, and mother share the word of God with the kids. We need to do that every day. If it's possible every day, every day. I know it's really hard, but if it's possible every day, every day. It's not a, as often as possible. It's like an hour later or something. Those are amazing ones. Super. It tastes delicious. This city, you can see uh, the roster in hands. Very, very close to the street. Even they go to the street, you know. That's something you don't see in the big cities. Look how amazing the, what God created, you know, roster, the hen and the small chicken over there. Uh, it looks beautiful. Nature, God's created. Getting ready to read the Bible. In this place, I'm going to read the Bible in Spanish because there are a lot of Spanish people over here. But then I found another place. God like, moved me to another place where I will read it in English. So I'm going to start now. And so we here. Estamos aquí hoy para compartir el Evangelio, las buenas nuevas de salvación en Cristo. Estamos aquí para hablar de la palabra del Señor. Vamos a leer el libro de Juan, Juan capítulo 1. Dice lo siguiente: el libro de 
Juan capítulo 1. En el principio era el verbo. El verbo estaba con Dios y el verbo era Dios. Este estaba en el principio con Dios. Todas las cosas por medio de él fueron hechas. Y sin él nada de lo que ha sido hecho fue hecho. En él estaba la vida. La vida era la luz de los hombres. La luz resplandecen las tinieblas y las tinieblas no la dominaron hubo un hombre enviado por Dios el cual se llamaba Juan este vino como testigo para dar testimonio de la luz a fin de que todos creyeran por medio de él él no era la luz sino un testigo de la luz la luz es Cristo él es la luz del mundo solo en él hay salvación busquemos de Cristo porque queda poco tiempo la luz verdadera que alumbra a todo hombre venía a este mundo. En el mundo estaba y el mundo fue hecho por medio de él, pero el mundo no lo conoció. El mundo no lo conoció. A los suyos vino, pero los suyos no lo recibieron. Me parece que aquí está hablando del pueblo de Israel, que fue Jesús fue rechazado. Y es una profecía que se cumple que está en Isaías 53, rechazado entre los hombres. Ahí está, este cumple. Y Juan lo confirma, dice... Just shared the word in Spanish, so... But I'm thinking about if to leave the sign over there and give tracks around. The problem is if someone take the sign, it will be a sign less I have for the rest of the preaching rally. So. I don't know. I don't know. Should I leave it over there or should I take it? It's a hard decision. To this place, and I see those two are darkness, and I went inside to see if I can put stuff on the window, and they told me yes, and I put this one. You know, Jesus Christ, the only one for this world. And those two are from a church. They give it to me, a church here in Imokali. Uh, and you see, now it's not just darkness, now you, there is some light in this window. Okay, it's time to read the Bible. We're going today, John chapter 7. So I put here, Jesus love you, everybody comes from there. Jesus love you over here. And in front we have tax collector of uh, Imogali, Imogali Government Center. So we're gonna be reading the Bible here. Uh, so we're gonna start. chapter 7 we are in day 6 we are reading John chapter 7 starting verse 1 where it says after these things we are sharing the word of God because the only hope for this world is Jesus Christ is the only one after these things Jesus walked in Galilee for he would not walk in jewelry because the Jewish sought to kill him. Now the Jewish fast on tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also might see the works that he do. That's very interesting here today. Your disciples might see the works that you do. Verse 4. For there is no man that do, does anything in secret, and he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For neither is For neither did his brethren believe in him. 
Then Jesus says to them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but it hates, but me it hates, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Go you up to this feast. I go not up yet to this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he had said this word to them, he abode still in Galilee. So we're going now to verse, verse 10. But when his brethren were gone up, then went also up to the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews saw him at the feast and says, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him, for some said, He is a good man. Others says, Neither, but he deceived the people. However, none man spoke openly of him for fear to the Jews. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Verse 15, And the Jewish marble saying, How knows this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and says, My doctrine is not mine, but he is that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. Whether it be of God, or whether I speak of myself, he that speaks of himself seeks his own glory. But he that seeks his glory hath sent him. The same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keeps the law? Why go you about to kill me? The people answered and said, Do you have a, de a devil who goes about to kill you? Jesus answered and said to them, I have done one work. Hola. Hola la Biblia. We continue in verse 21. Jesus answered and said to them, I have done one work and you will marvel. Moses the fourth gift gave to you circumcision. Not became it is of Moses, but to the fathers. And you on the Sabbath day circumcise the men. If a man on the Sabbath day receives him circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are you angry at me because I have made a man every week whole and Sabbath day? Here was Jesus doing a miracle. Jesucristo haciendo milagro y los religiosos criticando. There was someone with the window open listening, but looks like speak Spanish. That's what I will say something in Spanish. So I put him in here. Verse 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Jerusalem, Is not this he whom they seek to kill? But no, he speaks Badly, and they say nothing to him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the, the very Christ? That he was Jesus is the Christ. However, we know this man where he is, but then Christ come, no, no man knows where he is. Verse 28. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, you both know me and you know from where I am. And I am not known of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom you know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath 
sent me. God sent Jesus Christ. Jesus is God that came as a man to pay for our sins. And only in his name we can be saved. Only in the name of Jesus Christ. We continue to verse 30. So I mean, uh, God is giving power to this speaker because there in the parking lot there was someone over there looking at here. That's amazing because that, that's really far away. So we have cherry Fuffers over there and the uh, tax collector on the other side. So we are in the right place reading the Bible. Waiting sometimes that the truck move because they make too much noise. Okay, continue. Verse 30. Then they saw to take him, but no man lays hand on him because he power was not yet come. And many of the people believe on him and said, When Christ comes, he will do more miracles than this, which this man has done. That's a question. And it's not because Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Christ, the promised Savior to Israel and to everyone, to the rest of the world. The Pharisees hear that the people mourn for some things concerning him. The the chief priests and officers to take him. Then says Jesus to them, yeah, a little while and now I with you. And then I go to him that sent me. You shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, there you cannot come. Then said the Jewish among themselves, where he will go that he shall not that we shall not find him. Will he go to the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he says, You shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, there you cannot come. We continue in verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and Christ said, If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. He that believe on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Verse 39. But this spoke he of the Spirit, which they had believed on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people therefore, when they hear this saying, said, Of a truth, this is a prophet. Others says, this is the Christ. But some says, shall Christ come out of Galilee? Had not the scripture said that Christ come of the seed of David and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was? And again, people are arguing because people are not studying the scriptures. Because he was from the seed of David and he was born in Bethlehem, Jesus Christ. But people were arguing because they didn't know. Continuing verse 43. So there was a division among the people because of him. And some of them would have taken them. But no man laid hands on him. Then came the officers to the chief priests and Pharisees. And they said to them. Why have you not brought him? The officer answered. Never a man spoke like this man. Then answered them, the Pharisees, Are you also deceived? But what they didn't know that the deceived were them, the Pharisees. Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed on him? But these people who know not the law are cursed. Nicodemus saying to them, He that came to Jesus by night, being one of them, does our law judge? any man before it hear him and know what he does? They answered and said to him, Are you also Galilee? Search no longer. We're out of Galilee. 
great no problem. Every man went to his own to his own house. Thank you, Lord, because we read today chapter seven of the book of John. Your word, the scripture, the scripture. God calling everyone everywhere because time ain't running out. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. Some people said, bless, bless you, brother. A lady passing in the car. That's happened to some people. And again, God has people everywhere. I have found brothers in Christ everywhere. Every city I go. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We are preaching here in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not coming in my name. I'm coming in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm here in front of the Mogali Government Center tax collectors and also in front of the Collier County Sheriff's Office for Imogali. And we are here preaching because we think that in the spirit something is happening when we pray. Something is happening. Your word is going to the north, to the south, to the east and the west. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you God for this time and this day. Well, very nice shadow here to preach and to read the, the gospel. Put the camera over there and hear the other sign. You know, if people identify that I'm doing something for the kingdom of God. You know, you put the signs, people know what I'm doing. And just reading the Bible here. It's a very busy intersection over there. It's like the principal intersection here in the Mokali town. Thank you, Lord, for just finishing in this corner here giving some uh, some tracks to people some church information that the pastor from Imogali gave it to me uh, I'll just need two more and I'll be done with what he gave me and I'm a very very busy and very tired day I'm about to finish thanks the Lord Almighty I like this place here a lot of trees on both sides of the, of the road. I like this one. That's, that's very nice. Because so now I'm basically going back to going back home. Kind of early today but I think God uh, allows me to do a huge job today. Well today was an amazing day. I'm very happy with everything that happens here today. Um, Four people receive Jesus Christ. Wow, that's amazing. That's huge. I give like like 200 tracts, more or less. And also a pastor from here gave me a lot of paper. I was able to, to give all of them. So, but the funny thing is that when I arrived the city, I mean, Imogali is a, a small town, looks like a poor city. Basically, not too much people say, ah, oh, but there is not too much people here. Uh, and I was wow why did I came to this city but but God su surprised me the corner I stand with shadow I give a lot of tracks over there in a lot of stores that I give tracks to to the people to the in the front desk and also to the customer I, I like that a lot uh, I mean I was walking a lot uh, just stopping people on the street and giving the tracks. People people get the tracks here because the Spanish people are more likely to get the tracks. And and because it's like a poor city, so people with not high economical level are more, more likely to get the tracks, which is good. Because if you read Revelation 3.17, there is uh, someone that says, oh, I'm rich, I'm becoming very rich, and I don't need anything. And that's what happened with rich people sometimes. I've been in, in some other rich cities that rich people, very nice cars, they said, no, no, thank you, no, thank you. That's what you hear all the time. No, thank you, no, thank you. But when you go to those uh, poor cities, uh, even people coming in a bike and I shove them the tracks and they stop the bike to get the tracks. And I have like a couple of, a few seconds to talk to them about God, Jesus, and give them the track, tell them to read it at home to the kids and everything, you know. 
and that was amazing wow i like this what's happened here today one of the guy i stopped in on the street he was walking i just stopped him hey sir let me give you some some verse of the bible in spanish and then hey uh, how do you feel um, have you received jesus christ it was something like this uh, may i pray for you and people let me pray for them i pray for 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 like around i'll say like 10 people uh i mean there are some other things that i don't see that will happen but but i'm just trying to do the work in the best i think so god is amazing he's doing things i hope uh you know there there is something interesting between last week and this week this is the second week in last week since monday i know the five cities i'm gonna visit but this week uh, i know i'm gonna start in imogali monday today's monday day six but i don't know where i'm going tomorrow so what i do is uh, i try uh, i pray and and go to the to the map florida map and see the cities and but i'm not sure yet where where i'm going uh tomorrow and after tomorrow so let's see let's see i don't know i have to sit down at night and, and check where i'm going thanks god another good thing i'll start reading the bible in spanish because i'm reading it in english but because this is like a spanish city i i read john chapter one in spanish so i'm gonna make another series reading john from 1 to 21 probably in miami they speak speak spanish a lot i will probably read it in spanish in, in different places but i'm very happy that i, that I start reading the spanish uh, uh today john one and, and we keep with the english one uh john john seven with it today okay uh let's see tomorrow keep praying and thank you uh i'm really i don't know of course after this month i have to work i have to like you know credit cards are going up a little bit so i have to to work um but i'm planning i don't know if i can do this again probably yes i don't know what was the plans of the lord but if you like this kind of job if you think that god is calling you uh i mean you can send you can put a comment in the video on something and probably next year we could do something similar i'm not sure yet i'm just uh, letting you know what could happen next year uh have a great have a great day share the good news that jesus christ raised from the death on the third day and he's coming back soon so there are four four stages in the life of jesus christ so the life of jesus he came as a man he was here he did many important things he gave us examples that's amazing the life of jesus the death of jesus when he gave his life and share his blood to pay for our sins also the resurrection of jesus which is like the stamp that he is real that he has the power to raise himself from the death and he will do the same with us that's like the stamp that christianity believing in jesus is real and that's what we have to do that's the resurrection of jesus and then the coming back of jesus for his church so those four stages in the life of jesus are super super important and study the life of jesus as much as possible read the gospel many times keep reading it you always learn when you read the gospel okay god bless you and let's keep going